Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, Mellow greetings, good day, and welcome back to the psychotic world of Let's Play the Evil Within. When we last left off, Sebastian here had certainly done a fine job disposing of all those haunted uh, one floor above, perhaps the inhabitants or guests of this here hotel, perhaps just an apartment building, who knows, who knows, but they have all been eliminated. However, now we must take on none other than the superintendent, also known as the keeper. The time has come to throw down. Now, you might be asking, really? And my answer is going to be, aha, fuck no, not against him, not the keeper, he is immortal. As long as there are safes around, bloody hell, bloody hell, but who knows, perhaps there is a way. I am going to propose this, perhaps violence is not the answer. Not this time, and you might be asking, what the hell does he mean by that? Well, just observe and behold, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to show you, going to try, anyway. It could still be that things go horribly wrong, but that is certainly something we have grown used to by now, haven't we? Alright, don't forget to sneak and be quiet about this. Ah, of course, also, don't forget to turn that off. Ah, bloody hell. Not just the keeper, but also more haunted. Ah, sure, why not? Anything around the corner here? Ah, nope, just the abyss. Ah, very inviting, very warm, but I decline. Ah, I'm going to decline the offer. At least, there are some shells. Perhaps I won't even need to waste them. Ah, thank you for the single part. Now then... Ah, I can't really remember what to expect. But as long as I am careful, this should be alright. This How oh dear. Oh shit. That's the keeper. That's the keeper. He heard everything. This has gone horribly wrong. Holy shit. Just let it happen. That's right. Just embrace your fate. I suppose I could have tried to prevent that. But things had already gone so horribly wrong, it just uh, wasn't worth it. Now, uh, about my original plan of attack. Uh, like I said, violence might not be the answer. And by that I mean, you can actually solve this upcoming situation without alerting the keeper. Yes, indeed. Unfortunately, I wasn't expecting that haunted. Well, truth be told, I am kind of the one who made too much noise by shooting him with... 
a handy revolver. Yeah, perhaps a single harpoon bolt would have been better. Alright, alright, alright. Nobody said it was going to be that simple. Shall we try again? Of course, of course. And this time... Ha! Ah, we are going to do it right. Hmm, actually I have got an idea. Yes indeed, said idea just emerged. Perhaps don't disarm this here trap. Certainly took care of plenty of haunted already. Perhaps we should add another one to the count. Ah, this is so... just so sinister. I can't even see him. Bloody hell. You just gotta love how that bolt apparently didn't even hit him. And yet I was able to nail him to the wall like whatever. At least some compensation. I also gotta love how he just walked straight past the trap. I get it, I certainly do. Nothing is going to work out today. My plans, they just do not matter. But now, now, I just can't believe it. The keeper certainly has got decent hearing. In fact, his hearing appears to be so good. He can tell uh, when I fire a bullet and when a haunted fires a bullet. The latter isn't interesting at all, but my bullets, my oh my. Ah, <sighs> careful now. Please do not screw this up again. Alright. As far as I remember, that room up ahead is his lair. Ah, lots of traps everywhere. Just be cautious. Uh, I don't know which save is moving here, but hopefully I am not gonna walk into it. Oh, there's a tripwire here. Ah, you goddamn bastard. You and your damn traps. Disarm that. Ah, hello there. And now we just wait. Don't rush this, just wait. Alright. I do believe this should be enough. His footsteps have disappeared completely. And that means he is gone. I hope. Ah, well, if I am correct, ladies and gentlemen, that would be it. Yes, indeed. That was the encounter with the Keeper. Aha! Uh -huh. Certainly not as uh, epic as the uh, last time, correct? Well, ah, there might be more upcoming. But for now, we should be safe. Now then, the time has come to plunder this here lair. Starting with this right here. Thank you. And there is the weird painting again. Ah, 
Ah, and careful now. Don't set off the traps. I do believe setting any of them off might cause them to come back. And as you can see, there are certainly lots and lots of safes around. So this would be quite the lengthy encounter. Also, to basically put the sherry on top, there is an acid shower right over yonder, so we wouldn't even just be able to leave. Juvek certainly, as always, thought of everything. I do have to fire a single shot, because somewhere up there should be the uh, statue we saw last time. There it is. Mm, but I think I am gonna wait uh, with that until the shower has been disarmed. So far, so good. Rest in peace, that one haunted. Who knows, perhaps all those dead people aren't haunted, and just other unfortunate victims of the STEM system could be. I do have to say, just uh, randomly, I do like this chapter. I don't know, something about the setting just uh, kind of intrigues me. Being trapped inside of a skyscraper that's broken down, slowly but surely in descending. I just uh, kind of like it. Now... And carefully disarm these, first of all. Beautiful. And now the main event. Excellent. That's how it works. Just wave your hands around in front of it, and eventually it is going to magically deactivate. Now, how about you up there? Come on. Ah, really? I'm sorry, could you please pick up the key? Ah, and there it is. Bloody hell, bloody hell. I don't wish to leave another key behind. Ah, that one key which sank into the depths of the ocean, my oh my, wasn't that a sad waste. Alright, just uh, be careful now, the keeper could uh, still be around. Ah. Hello there, friends. Well, wasn't that. The largest uh, pack of rats ever. Should I follow? Ah, well, they ran away from there. I can see smoke, I can hear fire. Probably not a good idea to plunge myself into that. I bet it's the path the keeper took. Instead, I am just going to plunge myself into this here vent. Sure, whatever. I'm kinda cramped, lots of spider webs, but it works. It works. Hmm, I can hear birds. Am I close to the outside again? 
Ah, I certainly am. And the keeper shouldn't be here, right? But who knows, who knows. Thanks for all the gel. Perhaps they used him to be a vending machine here. Hmm, I think I came from there. Alright. What is there to see? Kidman! Are you in there? Ah, well, there certainly is the bus. Ah, I don't think she is Sebastian. I think, in Kidman, she is either dead, or perhaps she left ages ago. But that doesn't look too inviting, not too pleasant. Ah, why would she have stayed? Come on now, Sebastian. Ah, I do believe we should probably worry about Joseph's whereabouts. Better climb down. A little bit more. Better climb down indeed. The question is uh, how. At least we are almost back down the street level. Oh dear, well this isn't quite the precarious path, but whatever works. And there's my feathered friend. Hello there. Could you perhaps show me the way to Beacon? Could I perhaps just hold on to you? And together we are going to fly, soaring through the skies. I don't think so. Ah, oh dear. Building is still coming down. Yeah, it is a miracle this entire place hasn't collapsed yet. Ah, I am just a little bit worried. and down there. Alright. I mean, I don't see any alternatives. Bloody hell. Ah, don't fall. Just don't fall. Don't fall. Yeah. Ah, well, that certainly worked out. Ah, another victim of the keeper. And over there is the bus, as well as the park. Almost. We are almost there. Ah, and just be careful, don't get cocky now. But there is the mirror world, oh thank god. Ah, a lovely, lovely sight for sore eyes, as always. Not that way, no. Ah, seriously? <laughs> no, no, not that way, no. Seriously? <laughs> ah, apparently our old friend has returned. No. The fella no, who knows a lot about way. this world, Andrewvik. <laughs> All right. Ah, no, what is it you have no, to say this time? friend. <laughs> Haven't you figured it out yet? Oh, he loves tormenting others. Has to let them know he has the upper hand. Lays out the bait, gets his victim all worked up. His unholy traps. When it was happening to me, I could see what was going on. I could see it, but I couldn't turn back. I had to know. I had to know the truth, and he knew it. 
Detective Castellanos. Lady. Level with me. Am I going crazy? If one wishes to survive, one would do well to consider who they trust. Ah, well, thanks for those kind words. Sebastian, ah, are you going crazy? Perhaps you are. Who knows, who knows, who knows. But carefully consider whom you trust, eh? Are you talking about Kitman? Perhaps. I mean, who else could she be talking about, right? I don't know, but that fella... I still don't know who he is, but he certainly wanted to learn about the truth as well. Only at the very end of the day, it apparently cost him a good chunk of his sanity. Yep, indeed, that is certainly Ruvik. He tries to bait you, and then he torments you. That is Ruvik, all right. Ah, another reason why we need to stop him and to get out of this here stem system. Now, ah, wasn't that another sudden transition? I am back, and no mirror was involved. Alright. I don't really mind. Nope. In fact, I wanted him to be here. Hmm, because now I have got enough gel to work with and also the key. Certainly. Now... Let's see, first of all, a new poster has appeared. Uh, who could it be? Um, excuse me. Well, this is certainly ominous. Joseph. Oh dear. Uh, what exactly are you trying to tell me here? That he is going to disappear or die soon? Casualties. It is what the chapter is called. Let's see. Crimson City Police Detective Joseph Oda disappeared while returning home. Several eyewitnesses claim to have seen him searching Crimson City for someone. That's weird. I mean, what does it mean? Is this like the future we are seeing? Because he isn't gonna survive, he is going to disappear? Or maybe this is what happened before the events of this journey? All of us, we just kind of disappeared? And then we entered the stem? But then what about... Uh, what about our, you know... Uh, what about our trip toward Beacon? Was that just in our heads? I don't know. Just how did we enter the stem? How did we all disappear? Like, this all sounds like we all got kidnapped at some point, and then forced into the stem. But if yes, by whom and why? Ah, oh dear, Joseph. I don't want you to die. Ah, as incompetent as you are. Alright, no new newspaper? I'm just going to check out in the locker room then. Alright, alright, I certainly need a new pair of shoes. The last locker, oh my, it was quite uh, succulent, if you will. Uh -huh. I don't know why I chose that adjective, I don't know, perhaps because I never used it before. Perhaps the next one is going to be just as delicious. But uh, how many are even left? The one up there? Those two? The one down there? Hmm, certainly not too many. Alright, I am going to try my chances with you. Because you are so lonely up there. Ammunition, and look at that. Sniper rifle ammunition, and look at that. Eight bullets. God damn it. Now this is certainly a sweet discovery. Ah, my most powerful weapons. 
Ah, and they are receiving some new fuel. Awesome. This means perhaps for now the Magnum can rest a little again. There. And now just pick up the rest. And everything is going to be perfect. Sebastian. I said now just pick up the rest. And everything is going to be... Sebastian? Ah, come on. Don't do this to me. You can't fool me. I can carry more than just five, correct? I mean, even if I couldn't, it should, like, show it or something. Hello. I'm just gonna push the key. But nothing is happening. I'm sorry, what? Is this... Is this... Ah... Uh, really? I am just uh, kind of dumbstruck. Ah, uh, alright, perhaps I am going to increase the stock of the sniper rifle as well. How about that? been a while since we used this here chair and certainly not that many opportunities left uh, with only like two and a half chapters remaining uh, let's see what can be achieved with a little over 30,000 uh, now before I lose control again the stock. Don't forget about the stock. There. A handgun ammunition 10,000? It's a lot. But if I do this, ugh, we will be able to carry 50 bullets maximum. Damn. The sniper rifle? Ugh, I can carry more bullets. Look at this. I can currently carry up to 8. So why can't I pick up the remaining ammunition? Perhaps a buck? Certainly not a buck I appreciate. Alright, first of all, the revolver. There. Ah, completed. Beautiful. Ah, what else, what else? The agony crossbow. Perhaps this right here? Actually, this wouldn't be too bad. Because there is a situation upcoming in the next chapter. Maybe I should. Hmm. Mm, none of this. The weapons. The damage. The damage of the revolver. Ah, after all, it is my favorite weapon. The critical. Hmm. Also not too shabby. Ah, if only the enemies like... Uh, war. Um, I don't know how to say this. If only the enemies uh, war. Mm, perhaps say differently. If only the enemies weren't wearing those masks there. Like, that would certainly make the critical more useful. Mm, the magnum. Increase the damage. Also an idea. Hmm. I think uh, at this point it is basically all about the damage, since we are so close to finishing the journey. Hmm. Perhaps the charge time of the crossbow. Uh, it's uh, it's nice to have, I guess, and only a thousand. Uh, sure. Uh, upgraded that for the first time ever. Now, the magnum. Ah. Uh, it is an awesome weapon, but it is already so powerful. I am just gonna go for this right here, sure. Ah, increase the damage multiplier of the revolver some more. It is going to become the most powerful handgun in history. And now the stock, no. 
but the duration of the flashbolts effect, definitely. 13 seconds, perhaps now I can uh, finally, uh, at last, reliably stab to death uh, three enemies instead of just two. We'll see, we'll see, won't we? <laughs> And that is it. About seven minutes left to go with this episode. Let us go back. Naturally after saving the game. Because, uh, well, except that one death, uh, this has been quite the successful episode indeed. Hmm, it is going to be you. <laughs> And soon, quite soon, 40 hours in total. Damn. Ah, it has certainly been a fun experience thus far. Ah, this journey is going to end eventually. Of course, we still need to tackle the DLC, but it has certainly been quite and quite enjoyable. There were some hiccups along the way, some technical difficulties and such, but I enjoyed it. And I hope that you are still enjoying the journey as well, ladies and gentlemen. Because I just love the evil within. Alright, those bullets that I couldn't pick up? Hmm, did you hear that? Hmm, my computer beeping. Yeah, it happens, it happens. Uh, whenever it does happen, I'm just going to mention that it happens. Those bullets I couldn't pick up? Perhaps it is a bug. Perhaps it is going to work next time. Yeah, yeah, yeah! And apparently now I am here? Wherever the hell here is supposed to be? Ah, just on the other side of the door. Very well then. Ah, well that's inviting. Now the doors have got a mind of their own. Perhaps the earthquake. Then and there, the quake motivated it to open. Now, if only I could find more bullets. Please, some more revolver bullets, that would be awesome. I suppose I'll take this here crate as well. Some more gel. Perhaps the game could have been a little easier, just a little, had I decided to break all of the boxes from the start, but oh well. Hmm, elevators not functioning, but they no longer matter, because we are almost back down the street level anyway. Hmm, the exit through here, apparently. Alright, down there, ah, whatever you say. Whatever is going to get me out of this place faster. But first... Some more parts. Beautiful. Could craft another harpoon bolt, but perhaps I am going to find one. Just gonna wait. Some more items down below. And an ominous looking door. Hmm. Just going to jump and pray for a checkpoint. Well, I certainly got the checkpoint, but also some haunted. I didn't ask for those, I am afraid. Ah, this is beautiful. A syringe. More gel. Hey, not a cabinet, just everything. More gel. They are just giving it away. Who knows? Perhaps before the journey is over. We are going to be able to purchase one of the really, really expensive upgrades. Now. Hmm. Uh, Resource-wise? 
Things are looking decent again. Beautiful. And I do think on this high note we are going to end the episode. Ladies and gentlemen, one and all, thank you for watching. My name has been The Shadow Cookie, and until next time, until then. Damn, I just want to say, except that one death, this really was a decent episode. Sometimes I just kinda feel proud, yeah, I can feel proud sometimes, because the commentary was, alright, there weren't any significant hiccups, it's all good. Huh. Thank you for watching, like I said. Until next time, until then, slowly but surely approaching the end of this here chapter.